Hello, Namaste, everybody. I'm here with the GeoGebra Classroom tutorial. It has just been launched, GeoGebra Classroom. So uh, first of all, I want to thank the team GeoGebra for this effort to making our work easier and interactive. So first of all, uh, I would all request all, all the viewers to subscribe my channel and share it if you like it. So first of all, to uh, this uh, GeoGebra Classroom uh, is very much powerful tool for math teacher, uh, which with the help of which math teacher can interact instantly with his student students. So to make this GeoGebra Classroom, it is uh, similar to a Google Classroom, but uh, it's interactive. That's a different. This interactive when you give some work to the student assigning some activity, you can instantly check the answer of the student. So this is so a powerful tool, a powerful classroom here for all the math teacher. So hopefully all math teacher will be having Google Classroom uh, to teach online so that student can instantly submit their uh, works to the teacher and uh, teacher can take the student work. So, uh, first of all, uh, you have to to make to make Google Classroom. Uh, you have to open your own uh, Google GeoGebra account to open to make uh, GeoGebra Classroom. First of all, you have to make your own GeoGebra account. First of all, you for that first of all you type GeoGebra ORG. When you type GeoGebra.org, Geo it uh, there there will be one homepage of GeoGebra. So here is it's taking a little bit time. Okay, here is the homepage of GeoGebra. So uh, I'm not signing here. I've already got account, but I have not signed in here. So I'll sign in. Only I'll be able to create classes for my students. So my username up here. If you don't have account, you have to create account here. And I have got already account means I have got password. So after entering password, you have your own profile here. This is my first letter of my name. So this means I have I am signing with this name. So uh, to create one class in GeoGebra, first of all, you need to have one activity. So uh, activity, either you make yourself or uh, there are millions of activities in resources. So you can choose from the resources. So in resources, there are so many group uh, activities, so just like uh, math activities and uh, so many activities are here, which you like, you can just choose. Uh, so, uh, or if you want to find your um, own, or find your find what you need. First of all, you just type here what you need. Okay. Uh, for instance, I'm um, just searching here addition of fraction, uh, one applet or activity for addition of fraction. So there are so many uh, applet uh, from addition of fraction. So you can just choose one of the uh, applet from the fra fraction. So okay. Uh, see here, okay, here is one uh, applet that means activities given by the author is original author is Anthony. So for this activity, I can give it to my students for uh, directly cannot give it because this is not in my profile now. First of all, I'll make it uh, in my profile. So first of all, uh, first of all, in this uh, three dots, I'm clicking here, three dots. So it uh, gives me. So uh, it give, uh, gives me the access to. It gives me the access. Okay, sorry, this is uh, it's taking quite longer time. Okay, refresh. Uh, so uh, in right click, sorry. Left click, there comes one activity. 
uh, sorry one pop up that means copy activity you do your copy activity okay from here you do copy activity when you do click their copy activity uh, then on their uh, this that activity will be copied in um, your window so the same activity will come here and it's taking a little bit of time and uh, you can edit this adding some questions this that activity is already made by anthony and that activity uh, if i want to use uh, this edit option so uh, it's taking a little bit of time okay here here comes it is already up uh, in my so uh, here a copy of addition fraction i'm just deleting this copy of this is addition of fraction you can just name uh, whatever you like here of this applet so uh, uh, you can just add this uh, uh, applet if you want to add sorry if you want to add this applet or this, this also um, can be done to add this applet so you can change the size of this applet or what size you want and other things advanced setting you can do so many things you can do here so what to show what not to show so uh, then uh, what i'm going to do here is to add this i'm going to add some element uh, that means questions uh, uh, related to this uh, applet i'm going to ask some question here so okay now heading of the question uh, will be uh, maybe uh, whatever you like let's say heading of the question, uh, question this is optional so class 4c okay this i just wrote it uh, a question will be did you did understand did you understand did you understand did you understand the visual related to the fraction visual uh, related to the fraction okay this is only one question let's make it uh, uh, multiple choice questions so that it will be easier to take it back where who understood or not so yes yes one is yes air answer no another no okay um no or add another answer uh, can't say can't say so i'm done uh for as multiple type question uh, we are just choosing here uh you can give some if there's right type of answer you can just take one of the right answer but here is just like uh uh, not right answer here. Only I'm asking the view, so I'm not. I'm not making this anyone right. So after this, another element you can add for another question. If you want to add more questions here, you can just add another element here. And next, uh, okay, let's say another element. Here, question. Let's say in question. Did did anybody? helped okay did anybody who helped you who helped you who helped you to uh, 
understand. Understand this. Okay, this is multiple choice. Already here is one. Okay, myself. Myself. Uh, my parents. My parents and teacher. Teacher. Next, others. So here's uh, after this you can add more question also after this you can just uh, do dawn and save and close you can do after doing uh, save and close uh, that will be visible in your profile that will be visible in your profile i want to just open my profile okay here that is fraction addition is visible in my profile okay in my profile now you can use this activity to your student how that means first of all again click here left click and you go to edit activity okay after going for edit activity there will be the same activity here loaded here i see in my profile there is this activity now just add it from anthony again i want to thank anthony for that a very nice applet and activity so after opening this now we are at the very close to opening or creating our class so this is the interface that is been with C and uh, this is how uh, it will be sent. Now, same question is for class 4C, same question is here, or whatever I've written just before. So they'll tick and do something here. And after this, here is one icon here, I icon, that means the view resource icon. First of all, you have to click here to clear the class. First of all, view resource, okay? After, I'm not doing anything here, same applet. Here will be view resource. Okay. So, okay, already here. After clicking your view resource, it's a, it's a loading. There is there comes one icon create class. Okay. So already there is there the same question here. I've loaded. So already loaded here. So I, I want to create class here. And uh, new class, which class I'm going to teach here is uh, again 4C. I will wrote 4, 4, section C. So create class. So this is the class code uh, to be given for the student here. First of all, uh, you have to copy this code. And you have to give it to a student here. First of all, uh, as uh, I want to be a student, a student here with the new window. Okay. Here is new window, and I'm opening your GeoGebra resources or geogebra.org. You can just click. Okay. So, classroom resources, I'm just clicking here. Um, some resources so see how can we join the class here in this three button bar you can just click and see the classroom here so here, is, here comes enter the class code so i want to enter class code here all capital letters r a r a f three C U T N. Then you can join the class. And after entering that, I'm join the class. Now when you join immediately, there comes like this. 4C 
R A F three. Okay, already. You will join. Okay. I'm teacher, so again showing the same interface here. So when you join that one, then you can just uh, enter the classroom here. I want to show some example of my classroom here. So here in my profile, in my profile here, okay, it comes. I want to go to my profile. Mm. I want to check my profile here. There are three classes uh, running. So in my profile, in my profile here, okay, here a classroom, already here programians classroom, I have got one classroom like programians. So you know, I want to see this classroom. See, whoever have done something here. So in this classroom, there are Twelve student and names are here, and task overview. You can do just task so what it is, what has been done in this class. See here, first task is uh, there are three tasks. Three tasks. First task is done like this. Uh, to just and they just did interact. They just interact with this uh, tool, and question answer is next. In second one. This is the second one. The question of uh, second tax was how did you do it? And zero. Uh, what is this option? Let's see. By friend's help, zero. By teacher's help, three. By myself, six. And didn't understand is one. So this is how we can just get that. And if you have ticked in one correct answer, then uh, there would be one correct answer. Okay. Only here in that uh, while editing that app, I didn't do any. I didn't take in any correct answer, so it uh, didn't show any correct answer. So the task three, the third question was, did you like this class? Okay, did you like this class? It was the question. So uh, the 10 student who voted here didn't like the class and zero, zero, not like class and can't say. So now here, I think here I have made one uh, correct answer. Okay, this is the correct answer. So if there's, there are multiple choice questions and if, if you want to see the correct answer, how many uh, students they have the correct answer, you can just check from here. So this is a little bit uh, so much interactive and uh, this is the end of the tutorial here. And uh, I think you like this and hopefully you will be making your own Google Classroom and interact uh, with your uh, student so that uh, you can teach uh, mathematics in interactive way. Uh, instantly you can get the feedback. So this is very powerful uh, software, hopefully. Uh, you just uh, will try and uh, be, be a part of this GeoGebra and uh, you can just teach a student with this, uh, with the help of this GeoGebra. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully we'll be coming, uh, I'll be coming with the next video soon. So until that, uh, I want to thank all I want to thank all for watching my video and please subscribe and share and like it if you oh if it is helpful for you thank you very much have a nice time and uh, uh, first of all if you don't have GeoGebra again I would request to create one GeoGebra account and have one classroom uh, and uh, in this pandemic. It is. It will be very much helpful for you to interact with the student, all level of the student, in mathematics. Thank you very much. Have a nice time. Hopefully, have a nice time, and thank you for again for listening. Thank you.